Hello, welcome back. My name is Cassidy and this is now week five, cycle one for Classical Conversations. This is the review for my families in my class and also some other tutors might get ideas from this to help plan their weeks for week five. So here we go. First, I'm gonna start with history. We have the CC history song on the app and on the CDs, um, but I've made up some hand motions to help my class remember that because I do have the smallest class. So with week five, it is tell me about the Romans and it's the Roman Republic. So we have RR. The Roman Republic became the Roman Empire when Augustus was crowned emperor in 27 BC. This was followed by the Pax Romana in AD 286, when the empire divided into the Western and Eastern empires until Germanic, Barbarians defeated the Western Empire in AD 476. Okay, so here we go. The Roman Republic became the Roman Empire when Augustus was crowned emperor in 27 BC. This was followed by the Pax Romana in AD 286. The Empire There we go. That is what we will do for history and the hand motions. Um, okay, next we have math. I do plan on using the little dice that I've used in multiple weeks in the past. There's a little dice from the target dollar section and when you roll the dice, um, different sides have different movements like walk like a duck, jump, hop like a frog. If you don't have the dice, you can easily make popsicle sticks with those same different move, movements on it. The kids love being able to choose one or to roll a dice and then do the motion while the whole class, um, everybody does the motion, even the moms participate <laughs> while we sing the math song. So the nines and tens are this week. The nines, the tune is Do Lord. So it's um, 9, 18, 27, 36, 45, 54, 63, 72, 81, and 90, 99, 108, 117, 126, 135. Okay, and then the tens is easy, it's chanting, so it's just 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150. Okay, so that's what we would do for math. And let's do timeline, the motions for this next um, seven points of the timeline. We have Judah falls to Babylon. So we're gonna do a J for Judah. Judah falls to Babylon. Remember, this is our B. Temple destroyed is the next part. And so, wait, this is T. Temple, so we're gonna do a T and cross our hands. Temple destroyed. And then Babylon falls to Persia. Um, Jews return and rebuild the temple. So we're bringing the Jews back together and they're building like brick by brick, building the temple back up. Roman Republic, I do R and R again. Roman Republic, golden age of Greece. I think this is the sign for jewelry. So it's golden age of Greece. Peloponnesian Wars, you're warring back and forth. Persia falls to Alexander, so we're doing an A for Alexander, but he's Alexander the Great, so we're gonna raise the roof, okay? Alexander the Great. So let's do it all together. Judah falls to Babylon, temple destroyed. Babylon falls to Persia, Jews return and rebuild the temple. Roman Republic, Golden Age of Greece, Peloponnesian Wars. Persia falls to Alexander the Great. The kids love this motion, by the way. 
Okay, so that's what I would do for timeline. All right, geography, like I said in the past, I usually start with geography so the maps are already out and the kids don't have to wrestle with that halfway through the class. But they are out and we use the CC ones that are laminated. And so we're going to draw on the maps again. We're learning about the Egyptian empire this week. And so you find Egypt, Nile River, Upper and Lower Egypt, and the Nile River Delta. So that's what we would do for geography is drawing on the map again and erasing. So, um, okay, science. What are the major groups of invertebrates? The song is the ants go marching, the ants go marching one by one, hurrah. So that song and um, the hand motion. So the question is, what are some major groups of invertebrates? The answer is sponges. So for sponges, we're gonna do this, like we're squeezing a sponge. Stinging cell animals, so you're gonna sting yourself. Stinging cell animals. Flatworms, so we're making a flat. Round worms make a circle, segmented worms, mollusks, this is the sign for like snail and slug, and so we're going to say mollusk of our arms, sea stars, I'm just doing this for stars, and arthropods, um, this is the sign for bug, so you do your antenna on your face, and these are little antennas. So, what are some major groups of invertebrates? Okay. What are the major groups of invertebrates? Sponges, stinging cell animals, flatworms, round worms, segmented worms, mollusks, sea stars, arthropods. These are the major groups of invertebrates. Okay, I'll do that one more time because it was a little rough. <laughs> so one more time. What are the major groups of invertebrates? Vertebrates, sponges, stinging cell animals, flatworms, round worms, segmented worms, mollusks, sea stars, arthropods. These are the major groups of invertebrates. Okay, that is science. Prepositions, we're learning five more prepositions. And the prepositions this week are between, beyond, but by, concerning. So those hand motions to remember, between, because it's between your eyebrows, between, beyond, but by, concerning. So once again, between, beyond, but by, concerning, and that's the prepositions this week. English is pretty easy. Okay, now Latin, I guess I saved the best for last. Second declensions, this is the first week of the second declensions. So we have once again, singular and plural second declensions, and I have done all the cutouts for blue for singular and purple for plural again. Um, but for the purpose of the video, since I don't have a whiteboard behind me in the office, um, I'm just gonna hold up my cheat sheet for the sounds. So it goes, um, the dashing through the snow is the song. So it goes us, like plus, us, e, even though it looks like an i, the sound is e, like me. This is o, like an o is shocked. Um, I'm sorry, um, like vacuum, um. And this is o again. And then plural is i, once again. Orum is like an or. Ease, like geese, us like we're walking us, and geese, like geese. So the song, Dashing Through the Snow, is the tune. So it says, um, us, e, o, um, o, us, e, o, um, o, us, e, o, um, o. Second declensions. E or is us is E or is us is E or is us is Second plural declensions Okay, so that was also a little rough because I'm just planning this week and so this is my first time going through it. So I'll do it one more time. 
singular is us e o um o us e o um o us e o um o singular second declensions e or ease us ease e or ease us ease E or E us E's. Plural second declensions. There you are. And once again, these are on the CC Connected. All of my handouts for my Latin that I found that I love this year are from username Carolyn J. Baltazar. And Carolyn has a Y in it. So look her up on CC Connected if you want all these handouts. And I just printed them laminated them and I love using them for my class because I have the littles. They need something visual for all this. So um, yeah, and if you guys have any problem with review games, I'm just naming off a few that we always do. We have done Play-Doh multiple times. I have a few kids that love Play-Doh, a few kids who love the games. Um, you can do trash can, um, basketball, where I get my stack of white paper and when they answer a question correctly for review, I hand them a piece of paper and they get to wad it up in a basketball. And I basically make sure everyone, I ask enough questions that everyone gets like at least three basketballs. And then we line up in a line and they get to shoot their paper basketballs into the trash can. And they also love doing that as a game. That's a great review game. Um, there are certain people on CC Connected who make bingo cards for review. I've actually seen them on the Facebook group too. So type in bingo on Facebook group and review bingo and you'll find them. So I hope this really helps plan your week and teach your children at home. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below and thanks for watching. Happy homeschooling.